What's up guys and pals, it's your boy Vino and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to tackle a category of cocktails that, that I've never been terribly comfortable with. Now it's not that I don't know how to make them or, or not even that I don't like the way they taste, it's that they don't like me. Now I'm not lactose intolerant or anything like that, but for some reason the combination of alcohol and dairy just never, I don't know, never agreed with me. But uh, I was shopping the other day, picking up some milk for my daughter, and I noticed in the, the uh, whole dairy section there that they had some dairy-free heavy cream. Now, this may not be some new phenomenon, but I've never seen it before. So I said, I'm gonna pick this up, and I'm gonna go ahead and make some dairy cocktails or some, or some cream cocktails, dairy-free cream cocktails for the show. So make sure you stick around, because we're gonna boogie down. All right, folks, so like I said, today I'm gonna be making three cream cocktails, but I'm gonna be using dairy-free heavy cream. If you guys wanna use regular dairy cream, go ahead and do so. Um, I'm gonna go ahead for my stomach's sake and use the, the dairy-free stuff, right? Now, here's the deal. Um, when I originally thought about which cocktails to make, I thought, oh, I can make like the classics, like the Brandy Alexander and the White Russian, the, the Grasshopper and stuff like that. But then I said to myself, you can, there's a million of those things on YouTube. So I, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I score, scoured the internet for some really unique uh, recipes that used heavy cream. And so I found these three, which used some really nice ingredients. And uh, I've not tried it yet, so I'm gonna try them here for the first time with you guys. And uh, hopefully they are delicious, all right, folks? So the first one I found was something called uh, the Rosier. And, uh, uh, this cocktail uh, really intrigued me because it uses bourbon and rum and cherry herring and those are some of my favorite spirits and stuff, right folks? So let's go ahead and actually look at what's in the sauce, right? The first thing we're going to be doing is a half an ounce of bourbon, all right? I'm going to be using some bullet bourbon here. All right, uh, I like the bullet again. It does have, I mean, I've said this in the past, it does have a little bit of that rye in it, you know, so it gives some bite while also providing that sweetness from the corn. And then I'm gonna use an ounce of dark rum. I'm using this Old Monk rum, which I just purchased recently and haven't had the opportunity to try. I tried it the other day on a, on a uh, live stream and I found that it was actually pretty, pretty good. All right, so we're gonna do an ounce of this stuff. And it is super cheap. I mean, I paid 20 bucks for this stuff. It's, it's, it's got a, you know, it's got a punch, a flavor punch. Um, and, it, and it's like shaped as an old monk, so that's fun. <laughs> and then we're gonna do a half an ounce of cherry hearing, all right? Now, one thing you wanna know is, you know, this is not the same thing as Luxardo, Maraschino, liqueur. Like, this is a very different kind of cherry liqueur. So, you know, if you can find some sort of cherry brandy or something like that that's similar to this, go ahead. And I, I know, I really recommend cherry hearing, all right? But I say we're gonna do a half an ounce of cherry hearing. All right, beautiful, all right? And then we're gonna do a half an ounce of creme de cacao. It doesn't matter if it's dark or if it's white, you just, uh, just need those chocolate notes in your, in your uh, cocktail, right? So we're gonna do half an ounce of that as well. Okay, and in terms of our heavy cream, we are gonna do one ounce of heavy cream. Let me shake this well, make sure we get it nice and thickened up. All right, so let's open it up. Fresh, fresh off the cow. <laughs> or, or the soy farm, wherever this comes from. Anyway, one ounce of uh, our heavy cream. All right, that's thick, that's thick. All right, so now we're just gonna add some ice to the shaker. All right. And we're gonna shake it for 10, 15 seconds, all right? All right, folks, I think we gave that a nice healthy shake. We're gonna take out our glass here. I'm gonna be serving this in a coupe which I had chilling like a villain in my ice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and double strain that into my glass. All right, guys, there we go. That is the last drop of our the Rosier. I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but we'll, we'll, we'll assume I am. <laughs> All right, guys, now we're just gonna go ahead and garnish that with a cocktail cherry. Let me grab my Fabri cocktail cherries here. Where's my uh, gun? Here we go. Let's go ahead and grab one of these bad boys and just lay right on top. Hmm, that's pretty. That looks damn pretty, I can tell you that much. Um, and it looks delicious. So uh, there we have it, folks. Uh, the Rosier Cocktail. All right, folks, let's go ahead and give this bad boy a sippy sip, all right? Hmm, smells really good. You're really picking up the rum on this one. It is, it is the one ounce of rum, but you're really picking that up plus all those cherry notes. It smells really, really good. Mm. 
Mm, that is not bad. That is not bad at all. It's rich, as you would assume. Um, I think because it is not dairy, it's not as thick as a real dairy uh, creamer, but it's definitely thick, it's definitely rich. Um, the rum is definitely the dominant flavor here, and that rum, I said, does have some pronounced notes to it. Um, it is nice because it's, it's not a sweet dairy, uh, sweet, sweet cream cocktail. It does have some sweet notes, some sweet elements, don't get me wrong, but you can really taste that rum. The bourbon does play a bit of a backseat, but the things I'm getting the most are 100% the rum and the cherry herring, which honestly is what I really like about this cocktail. This is fantastic. Mm, I really do like this. The more it settles on my, on my back of my palate, the more I'm enjoying it. Mmm, delicious. All right, folks, there goes uh, the Rosier cocktail. Let's move on to the next one. All right, folks, so the next one we're gonna be making is called an Island Rose. I guess this is about as islandy or tropical of uh, cream cocktails you're gonna find, right, folks? So let's go ahead and look at what's in the sauce. The first thing you're gonna need is three quarters of an ounce of tequila. I'm using Anejo here so that I can bring a little more flavor to the cocktail, but you can use Blanco if you like. Or you can use an ale too, experiment, all right? Um, and the next thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of Kahlua, all right? I thought about using Mr. Black for this cocktail, but I figured that the additional sweetness in Kahlua will help uh, with the cocktail. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with my good, all right? All right, and then we're gonna be doing a half an ounce of Chambord. If you don't have Chambord, I'm sure Creme de Cassis will do just fine. Ooh, again, those coffee notes from the Kahlua, real nice. And then last but not least, our star of the show, the whipping cream or heavy cream, and we're gonna do an ounce and a half of this stuff. Wow, this is, that's a heavy, heavy, heavy handed one there. So let's go an ounce and a half. All right. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead. Let me pull out my glass here. We're gonna be serving this in a martini glass. Put some ice in our shaker. We're gonna shake what our mother gave us. <laughs> All right, folks, I think we gave that a healthy shake. Let's go ahead and double strain that into our martini glass. All right, folks, I think we have as much as we're gonna get out of this thing here. All right, beautiful. Lovely, isn't she lovely? Right, there you go, perfect. Now let's go ahead and um, garnish that. We're gonna use some nutmeg, all right? You got fresh ones? Go ahead, go for it. I don't, I got the good old store-bought version, all right? Anyway, folks, so there it is. There is our Island Rose Cocktail. Let's go ahead and give this bad boy a sip a sip All right, the nose, you're getting the nutmeg, you're getting the Kahlua for sure. Oh, this is nice. This is a little eggnoggy. Um, I'm, I'm not really getting the, the, the Chambord pretty much at all. Uh, I was wrong on the back end. <laughs> on the back end, you are picking up the Chambord. But it's um, definitely Kahlua forward. Even the tequila, even though I, use a, a, I used a Reposado, is this kind of taking a back seat to the Kahlua. Um, again, the Chambord is there on the very back end. The, the tequila is there definitely just to give you a punch, right? Just to give you a little bit extra. Um, but again, another one of these kind of, you know, creamy cocktails that's not too, doesn't feel too rich. It's kind of an easy, clean cocktail to drink. I like this, very good. I like the nutmeg. I think it definitely adds a nice punch to it. Mm. All right, folks. So there goes our Island Rose cocktail. All right, folks, let's go ahead and make our third and final cream cocktail. And this one is called a Velvet Kiss, all right, folks? Now, this also has some tropical vibes to it. So let's go ahead and look at what's in the sauce, right? We're gonna do one ounce of gin, all right? I'm using beef eater. Uh, you can go ahead and use any like tank ray, uh, whatever you like. Um, and then we're gonna do a uh, half an ounce of creme de banana or our banana liqueur, right? This smells like a like those old tarts candies, those sweet tarts candies, mm, yummy. All right, then we're gonna do a half an ounce of pineapple juice. If you got this freshly squeezed stuff, God bless you. But Vino got the can, the freshly squeezed cans. So <laughs> we're gonna do a half an ounce of pineapple juice, all right? Then we're gonna do an ounce of our starter show, heavy cream, making his final appearance tonight. 
we're gonna do one ounce of this. All right. Now with the rest of this stuff, I probably try to make some whipped cream and put on some pie for my daughter or something like that. All right, then we're gonna do two, a bar spoon of grenadine. This is, I guess, gonna give us our velvet kiss color. All right, here we go, we're gonna do a bar spoon. It's gonna add some nominal sweetness. This is definitely gonna be just for color, all right? So there's that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull out my glass. I'm gonna be serving this in a Nick and a Nora. Put some ice in my shaker. You guys know the routine. And then we're gonna go ahead and give it a shake for about 10 to 15 seconds, all right? All right, folks, let's go ahead and double strain that into our glass here. All right. All right, folks, so I think we got all we can get out of this uh, shaker here. All right, and look at that. Isn't, that. isn't that just a pretty pink color? I mean, this thing got itself quite a pretty mild, and we ain't even done yet, all right? So we're just gonna go ahead and garnish that with a little, uh, have some dehydrated pineapple. And there you have it, folks our Velvet Kiss Cocktail. All right, let's go ahead and give our last cocktail a sippy sip, or we can call this a lot, kissy kiss. Oh, wow. That is by far my favorite one. I, it's not, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. It's sweet, but the banana liqueur is incredibly delicious. Oh my God, it tastes so good. I forgot what's even in here. The banana and the pineapple combination, I, I, I knew I was tasting that. My God, this is really good, guys. It's like a, it has almost like, a, I'm gonna be honest with you though, it almost has like a strawberry quick, remember that? It kinda has a little bit of that going on, but it's more almost like a, just like a strawberry shake with some banana notes. Oh man, this is, this is delicious. This, I didn't expect this, I did not expect this. Mm, yeah. That's so super good, super refreshing. And I, I, again, because it's the dairy-free creamer, it, it's not quite as thick. So it does have some richness to it, but doesn't feel overwhelming. Man, this is super good, dude. This is my favorite one by far. Well, folks, listen, I, 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 let me bring the other contestants in here. Um, I enjoyed all of them. I did, I thought they were pretty good. Um, I can't say that, um, I, I could tell you which one I like better between the De Rosier and the, um, what was that, the Island Rose, but I can tell you that the Velvet Kiss is delicious. It's it's like, a, it's totally a dessert cocktail. Let me put that out there. It's a dessert cocktail, but it's, um, it's like a boozy kind of milkshake ice cream thing going on with some awesome banana, almost strawberry though. I think that combination of strawberry and the pineapple and banana almost adds some strawberry notes to it, but it could also be the grenadine with the berries from that. Anyway, folks, listen, I hope you enjoyed these uh, three cream cocktails. Uh, if you have regular dairy, go ahead and use that. I'm sure that it will be just as delicious. Um, and this was fun for me because I haven't had any dairy uh, cocktails in a really long time. So this was fun to uh, go ahead and go down this route and try something a little different for Vino. All right, folks, so I really hope you guys go ahead and try these cocktails. If you like this video, please press like, please subscribe, please share with your family and friends. Sharing is caring. And remember, folks, when life gives you lemons, you make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.